Heads up, citizens! This is Un, once again playing a thing known as Aquanaut's Holiday Hidden Memories. The early part of today's video will be spent with a lot of cutting around as I make some registrations and fill in some extra bubbles on the meme panel because I spent the early part of this video not knowing what the hell I was doing and forgetting entirely how to activate the last side episode. So this is just all the things I registered and did while I was blundering around not sure how to proceed. But hey, we've got more boost speed and that counts for something, right? What it turns out that I needed to do that I was missing, for anyone who might play this in the future, is uh, before activating the final side episode, you have to do the, uh, the barbershop, that's the word I was looking for, you have to do the barbershop dolphin stuff in Bingtown. Once you've done that, then you're good to go, hmm, albacore, then you're good to go with respect to the final uh, side episode. Speaking of the devil... Missing Bingtown Earthquake Victim Rescued Ben Hawthorne, 61, the only missing person from yesterday morning's earthquake, has been safely rescued. He was believed to have sunk into the sea along with the barber shop he owned in Bingtown. He claims that his life was saved by a dolphin. At this time, all the residents of Bingtown have been accounted for. Well, so the last uh, Bingtown victim was rescued by a dolphin 50 years ago. That could be our boy. Our man, our elderly gentleman, if you will. Anyway, what I believe we need to do, after registering the sawfish, will be to head back to Aqua Heaven have a rather pointless conversation with Jessica Kellerman. Oh, that's what I was looking for, the Internet Sea Slug. I think I've met a few of those, mostly on message boards and comment sections. Anyway, I think what I'm going to need to do is head back and have a meaningless conversation with the usual suspects, and then the dolphin will reappear on my next visit. As you can see, I haven't quite figured that out yet. But I did get another Nasu, and you can never have too many of those. turning speed. That's one of the better things to get from a meme Pamela bubble, because it's just really convenient having a more maneuverable submarine. And here we finally are, back at Kasira Base. Mum mum. Mum and mum mum. That's eating? Up! I've got foods, Chuck Chuck. Now this is a bit peculiar. We've caught Kemmelman nabbing, and yet he's still perfectly capable of selling us a Nasu. We 
should be able to head back to Bingtown and uh, resume contact with the dolphin. The barbershop dolphin, not our submarine. We're always in contact with that. I do rather like the Bingtown area. It's, you know, very ruinous, of course, but it's also kind of picturesque in a way. A baby dolphin found injured on the coast of Bingtown was rescued by a local resident. It had apparently been attacked by a shark or orca. The dolphin was rescued by Ben Hawthorne, 56, owner of the only barber shop on the island. The baby is now in good shape, swimming happily in a child's plastic pool. I haven't been married, but now I feel as if I'm suddenly a father, commented Hawthorne with a smile. Oh, well that's kind of adorable. Uh, even for a... Uh... Juvenile dolphin, wouldn't that have to be kind of a large kiddie pool? I guess I don't really know how big baby dolphins are, though. Oh. That's a bummer. Oh, that's... That's depressing. Sort of bittersweet, I guess. Our dolphin's still looking for his, uh, rescuer, who he in turn rescued. I'm sad now. We need to sing with the ridiculous. Anyway, I do believe that we're now ready to begin that side episode, but I'll make another stop at Kisira Base first and get some Piscine Mancy. Well, our fortune seems fairly auspicious, so hopefully that means, uh, we'll be able to complete the remaining side episode without too much trouble. Which would certainly be nice, because as I've mentioned before, the final side episode, at least in the order we're doing them, is a huge pain in the ass. This is what we need. And this uh, message in a jar would not appear if we uh, hadn't completed the barbershop dolphin stuff. So apparently it's more stuff from pirate uh, Captain Milligan saying Patrick has escaped. I wonder why Jessica is still talking about the treasure. Didn't I turn that in? We are, in fact, done with the treasure, and our next thing to do is to uh, follow the trail of this fugitive Patrick. Keep going, me. Good job. So we'll need to find a few more bottled messages. The next one being in Bingtown, I believe, on the outskirts, near a one-way sign.
that's the thing about this last side episode. It hasn't even officially started yet, and we've already got the flavor of it. It's mostly a massive object hunt. And some of the stuff that you have to find is a real pain in the ass. Most of it is down on the dark seafloor. Some of it in cave systems. It's just really aggravating. This is not a game particularly well suited to uh, needle in a haystack hunts. Well, there's our one-way marker. And there's our bottle. Uh, apparently Patrick did a runner right in the middle of the ocean. Seems a bit unwise, but I suppose when you're the captive of pirates, you take what opportunities you can. I believe the next bottle we'll be finding somewhere in the shallows near Mount uh, Tangaroa. Mm, not here. I think we have to go back to that uh, section of shallows leading to the Gate to Adventure. Right around the same general area where we found the first bottle. Can't go there. Shouldn't be too terribly far off. I'm just looking around at shallows all over the place. By the way, uh, you really don't get any hints about this stuff. I just vaguely remember where most of it is from my previous playthrough and looking at the Japanese Aquanauts Holiday Wiki for the rest. Probably the best source of information on this game is the Japanese Wiki, uh, despite it being, of course, all in Japanese, but that's why Babelfish and Google Translate were created. There we go. Ah, not only did Paul do a runner, or not Paul, uh, Patrick do a runner right in the middle of the ocean, he did it with a leg iron. This guy's either very foolish, very desperate, or just has balls of steel. Besides the one strapped to his leg. And I believe to officially start the side episode, there should be one more message in a bottle found in this same shallow area. That's not a bottle, that's a frogfish. And bingo. Dear John, that's a strange assumption. Again, the guy bailed out into the ocean wearing a leg iron, and the journalist is sure he made it. Well, the eternal optimist, I suppose. I thought that was the last message in a bottle we needed to find, but I guess there's still one more to officially start the episode. And even then, uh, having started the episode, we'll have lots more crap to find. Again, this is why I don't particularly like this uh, 
particular side episode. Maybe I shouldn't have saved it for last, but... Oh well. I said I was gonna complete all the uh, main and side episodes, and goddammit I will. Ah, yes, all these various crevices around the Sea of Whisper are where most of the remaining objects are that we'll need to find. Remember what I was saying about the dark sea floor? Yeah. So I guess we need to find one of the things here before we actually start the side episode. But this is the general area where most of the remainder will be as well. What we're looking for now, if I recall correctly, is not another message in a bottle, so much as it is a message in a telescope. Fortunately, at least it's a fairly distinctive shape and color against the sand. Somewhere. Ah, there we are. Telescope of a Pilgrim. Ah, there's our man. Like a pilgrim, I reached the Sea of Kisira. Captured by Milligan, I managed to escape, but still do not have true freedom. The key to my ultimate goal is in the sound. Patrick Evans And so at last begins Fugitive on the Ocean Floor. Yeah, searching for traces of Patrick is what we're going to be doing for a while. But as our journalist says, they are going to be in this region of the seafloor, so we don't have to go far. It's not a particularly simple place to search, being this convoluted network of sort of caves and so on. But it does have monkfish, and there's something to be said for that. See big. Ha! Where'd Pat get all his telescopes? Communicate our spirit through the exchange of sound. Fish that know this art. Red power, the source of spirit, flows into them. Never look down upon them as mere fish. Hmm. Yes, Patrick appears to be familiar with Twitter. As my dog barks in the background at absolutely nothing. Well, I think that's about enough for now. We'll resume the hunt next time. This has been Un. Glad to have you along, and I'll see you next time.